in the near future I want to do some trench porting here which is basically just cutting a trench through this area and on this case it will be through this area and uh, like the uh, case cutting stuff I do have a video on that that I'll link in the description but I'll still show you a little bit of it here so anyway it's getting late at night now that I've got all this other cutting done and it would be a good time for some JB Weld to set up because I've got to fill a couple of areas in each of these cases because the trenches actually go so deep that they break through so since it's late at night I'm going to go ahead and set all this up and that way it can cure and it'll be ready whenever I get to it basically I'm just going to rough this up a little bit in the right areas uh, clean it up with some acetone and then I'll JB weld The next thing I want to try to tackle is to port match the engine cases to the gasket for the 86cc cylinder. And I've got that just secured very gently with uh, some spacers and such on the head studs. And gently because I don't want to mess up my gasket. And hopefully you can see the mismatch there. Normally what I would do is mark that with a pen, a marker. Uh, I think I'm going to try a scribe this time and I'm just going to go ahead and go around all the edges of the gasket and mark that onto the engine cases. With that marked I'm going to start by working on the boost port area while the cases are together. I'll probably take the cases apart when I work on the transfers. I'm just going to flip that over, it's a little easier for me, and I'll use some files because this is a flat roof, and start working it that way. Hopefully you can see I've got close to the line that I scribed, but I'm not all the way up to it. And the reason is most of the time that I'm doing porting, I try to leave a little bit left over for when I'm finishing up and smoothing everything out. And now I'm going to go ahead and split the cases and then work on the transfer areas. Both case halves are done as close as I want to get at this point. So the next thing I want to do is start on my trench work. Digging a trench basically from the transfer area here right up into the reed area. That way when mixture comes in we're trying to create a direct path up into the transfers. Material removal is now done on 
both cases for the most part. And you can see I've tried to create a nice curve up toward the transfers here. Keep a flow going up toward the transfer. Um, here's the other case. Same thing basically. And you may notice if you've seen my other video on trenching that these aren't quite as aggressive. I actually haven't broken through in the cylinder stud areas like I usually do. And I haven't got as deep down in this area as I normally do. I have broken through here to the backfill uh, with JB Weld. On the large case half, I haven't even actually broken through in there. And the reason for that is, I'm not sure that they make a huge difference anyway with the trenches, but I do know that the more aggressive you get, the more likely it is to have case uh, cracks and leaks and things like that. And being that I'm not a huge fan of aluminum cylinders anyway, because of how uh, finicky I'll say they are with uh, mixture, how easy it is to burn a hole in the piston and things like that, I thought maybe it would be best to not push this all the way to the point that it's more likely that I get cracks, etc., and potentially case leaks that could lead, lead to uh, lean conditions and problems with the cylinder. So at this point what I'm going to do is rough up some of these bottom areas here, especially the corner, some of this area, and I'm going to put JB Weld in and just try to fill kind of the corner area again to keep flow sort of aiming up to the transfer here because if it just runs into this corner that doesn't seem like it does a lot of good so I'm going to try to keep flow headed up toward the transfer and I'm going to do that for both cases just rough it up and do some JB weld filling. So these have now cured overnight and they're pretty much how I would hope they would have turned out. Um, so I won't have to do a whole lot of work but I'm going to sand both of these to try and get them a little more of how I'd like. And then I'm also going to make sure my port matching is finished up the way I want it. And then that should pretty much complete the uh, porting section here. Cases are pretty much done, but I do have a little imperfection here. It was an air bubble in the JB Weld, so before I quit for the day, I'll try to remember to fill that just to smooth it out. Uh, I do want to try to install the cylinder and just make sure it doesn't run into a, the filler here. Good to go there. Good to go there. Yeah, this one doesn't look like it'd be very much trouble with this kind of stuff. Some of the, the cylinders that I use aren't so cut away here on the, the base of the cylinder skirt. And they can run into that, but this one stays pretty far away from everything. So good to go there. The other thing I wanted to do was just double check that the uh, gasket is matched well when it's installed. And that also looks pretty good. I mean, there are some little differences depending exactly how the gasket sits. 
but that's pretty much how it's going to go unless you get something that's tight on the studs there. I'm nearly finished machining the cases, but there is one more oversized item that I want to make fit in here, and that is this, which this aluminum section here is a KX85 reed adapter that was made by Precision Racing. And pretty simple, it basically just lets you use KX85 reeds, which are much larger than the Minarelli reeds on the uh, Minarelli engine. And you can see it's made to have the footprint that the stock engine has and also you can use the uh, stock style intakes stock bolt pattern and such it's just a small amount of work to get this to fit and get everything drilled but for now it mounts this way and the reeds are actually so wide that they won't even fit into this opening here so pretty much you just have to file or otherwise machine this so the width is a little bit wider I ended up with some sharp edges after filing for the uh, reeds to fit, so I'm just going to go ahead and take those down real quick. And hopefully after that I'll be about done with any major casework. <laughs> 